Hello humans. Today I'm going to be showing another horrible chess game, played between, Vichy Anand and, a random billionaire, who believes playing chess makes him a smart person. This is an online simultaneous charity event, where Vichy was playing against 9 people, or not. This billionaire has admitted he was cheating on this game, however, he may be a very humble person, and didn't want to hurt Anand's feeling ha ha ha. So, as you all know, only I, the one who sees everything, the one, who knows everything, the nightmare fish, has the authority to determine if someone is indeed cheating, or not. Anand has the white pieces and each player has 30 minutes on the clock, so let's see how this game goes. Knight to f3, this move is already a blunder since black can now play, d5, preventing e4, best by test, so, white is already lost. Just kidding. e5. Wow. Very bold move. Giving up a pawn for no reason on the very first move. Maybe he is a genius. What really impresses me, is that this is actually a book move called the Ross Gambit. If you have a book in your home with this move, I will personally pay you a visit when I take over your world. Knight takes e5. Finally. A move that is not a blunder. You see? Chess is really simple. If there is a free pawn, just take it and win the game. c6. Striking the center, unafraid of getting his pawn structure damaged. Is he trying to open up the game and try to get some counterplay since black is down a pawn for no reason? Even though knight takes f3 check was better, I actually don't hate that move. Very suspicious. Will white accept the challenge and play, d takes c6, best move? Of course not. Short castle is an okay move, but after d takes c6, knight takes f3 check, bishop takes f3, and b takes c6. This position is an easy win for white. Bishop to f4. Question mark. What a terrible move. Attacking the knight on e5 with the bishop does absolutely nothing but give away a lot of white's advantage. Since pawns are worth less than knights, he should have obviously played f4, attacking the knight, queen to b6, pinning the knight. So if f takes e5, just d takes e5, and black is much better. But we would have, king to h1, unpinning, knight goes to g6, bishop to e3, threatening a discovery on the queen, queen to b7, attacking the pawn, and after, bishop to f3, defending the pawn. White is much better. Instead of taking the pawn back, white now for some reason decided to play, knight to c6, attacking the bishop, and giving away all of his advantage. Now he takes the pawn. Unfortunately for white this is really bad, because now after, rook takes e5, queen takes c5 and, bishop takes f2 check. White can't play king to h1 because of rook to e8, attacking the queen, so, king to f1 is forced. And when you have a king on f1, you might as well just resign. Before, wow. Great move. For a human. Before is the only move that keep black's advantage. 
but realizing that you have to open up the position, when your opponent's king is on f1, is not that hard, right? Bishop to b5 check, great move. White can't play knight takes b5, because after, queen to c4 check, the rook is hanging. So king to g1 is forced. Knight to e2? Question mark. Question mark. If white is trying to lose, he could just have taken the bishop and blunder his rook. White is now completely lost. One obvious continuation is. Bishop takes e2 check, bishop takes e2, queen to f4 check, queen to f2, queen to c1 check, queen to e1, queen takes c2, again, if there is a free pawn, just take it. This is completely winning for black. Queen to d6? Question mark. Question mark. This game is so bad, that it looks like alpha zero against my brother. King to g1? Question mark. Question mark. Why is he defending a pawn that nobody cares? He should have defended the c2 pawn, by playing b3. White is now lost again, poor human. I bet white was really happy after trading those bishops, and is now expecting black to play, queen to g6, defending the knight and the rook. However, you don't have to defend these pieces, and can just play, g6. Will black find the winning move? He did. I'm impressed with this human. If white now takes the rook, just queen takes h2, check, and after, king to f1, there is a fork on the queen and the king. White now resigns. Black is threatening mate in 2, and also attacking the rook on a2, so resigning is actually the best move now. So, what do I conclude about this game? Was he cheating, or is he a genius? Since I hate 100% of the moves played by humans after the opening phase, and I only hated 85% of the moves played by black in this game, it is obvious that black was being assisted by a weak engine such as Alpha Zero, or maybe my dumb 11 years old brother ha ha ha. But what about blundering a pawn on the first move? Please. This strategy of playing some terrible moves and then getting assisted is older than walking backwards. If you enjoy this video, consider checkmate the like and subscribe button. For any suggestions, just put it in the comments and I will do it, or not. See you later. Or not.